Tales from the Greyside presents... Thirty Nights of Halloween. Welcome, all you yucky YouTubers, to my channel once again for the third night of my 30 nights of Halloween. Midnight is here, and I have another freakishly frightful fable to relate to you all. This one is from the House of Secrets 81, from September 1969. This comic features the debut of a fellow horror host, a good friend of mine, Abel, brother to Kane of the House of Mystery. This tale, though, is from just before he became the house's caretaker and tale teller and tells of another who owned the house, or at least they thought they owned it, not knowing that the house belongs to no one, but that instead it may just claim its would-be owner. Sinister silence swept over still Kentucky hills. Business was slow along the lonely highway, but then an enormous shape hovered over the horizon then began to move closer and closer grinding inexorably forward until Woo, did you see that guy i told you you got some kind of monster back there but it's your business what you do i just move them it'll cost me a mint but it'll sure be worth it they were almost out of the hills when it began and my warning echoed through the new owner's mind don't move it! That agent was right. Listen to that. It started already. Hold up a minute, driver. I'm going to take a look inside. Sure thing, Mr. Barkers. But what's happening? I don't hear a thing. Anyway, shouldn't be much bother. We're just about to take our last hill. And from there, it's easy sailing to the state line. She's sure a real fine. They don't build houses like this anymore. Funny. I don't hear that maniacal screeching now. Strange. Must have been these creaks I heard. He ventured inside anyway, just as a creaking chandelier gave way. Huh? I knew this place was old, but I sure didn't think it would fall apart this fast. Better watch it. Then Barkus moved cautiously by a large fireplace and it crumpled behind him. I'm going to check out that strange room on the second floor. There's something weird happening here and I've got a suspicion. The dark corridor led to a padlocked door. Just like before, can't open it. When I get this house settled, I'm gonna bust into this room, even though I have to smash the door down. Better get back to the tractor. As they began their ascent of the final looming Kentucky Hill, Barkers told the mover of my warning. It seems that a Senator Sandsfield of Kentucky built this house with his bare hands. Not a single material was used in construction that wasn't pure Kentuckian, not a single nail. He swore that no one would step into this house that wasn't pure Kentucky folk. Four owners after him didn't last more than three months. Each family had someone that wasn't pure Kentucky stock. A lot of secrets are tied up in that house. The senator's wife went mad, and there's that locked room. Naturally, the real estate agent thought it was insanity for me to try and transport the house to another state. Isn't that wild? To tell you the truth, Mr. Barkus, I don't like the looks of this monster. That agent guy may have been right. Frighteningly near to the top of the final hill, they stopped to check their rigging when... Don't you hear that? Huh? What? No. Don't hear a thing, Mr. Barkus. Barkus had to investigate. To him it sounded like the screams of an hysterical woman cutting clearly through the gloom. Suddenly, snaking from the shadows, the thing wrapped itself around him like black electrical tape, reaching for his throat. Desperately, Barkus struggled, only to go crashing through a window. What the? Mr. Barkus! A drape! It was just a drape! But, but, how did it move to grab me? I can't wait, I'm going to check that room out now! Dashing madly back to the tractor, he found what he believed would do the job. Nothing's going to stop me now, I'll get into that room. Hey, what are you doing with that? That's screaming again. As the piercing sound ceased, Barkus fired away. It, it still won't, won't open! Something's eerie going on here! I'm getting out of here! With a scream spawned from fear, Barkus frantically jumped out of the house, oblivious to everything but the terror within his soul. He's gone mad running down the road! Mr. Barkus! Mr. Barkus! Almost human-like screams echoed wildly through the house as the drapes flapped madly in the still air. Smoke puffed from the chimney. 
the, the house is shaking again. Better check the rigging. And the house began to move. Hey, it, it's rolling. With human-like determination, the Senator Sansfield house clumped slowly down the road toward the stumbling figure of Mr. Barkus, watch out! What? 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 It's after me! Once more, the sound of hysterical laughter screamed from the rolling house. An expression of diabolical anger crossed its face. Its eyes lit up in frenzy, panting menacingly as it rolled toward Barkus and the cliff beyond. It finally halted at the very edge of the treacherous cliff, only too late for Mr. Barkus. Oh my god, he went over the cliff! And the state line is still 200 yards away. So there you have it, a lesson to be learned there not to disturb spirits, let sleeping houses lie, or you may just awaken forces beyond your ability to comprehend and control. I hope you enjoyed this tale tonight. Return tomorrow to have your marrow chilled once more by another comic curiosity. <laughs> Do have nightmares, won't you?